friends. I look wild to you. Well, I should. I just swung in from the jungle, tree to tree, to tell you my poetry. Only today I'm going to talk to you in a short story form. This is about a friend of mine named King. He's a bald eagle. And he tells most of the story himself. I am King, Keeper of the Sky. They call me a bald eagle, but I'm far from bald. I have pure white crown made up of 200 feathers. When I soar through the sky, I spread my wings a full seven feet. My beak is large with razor sharp edges with a hook at its tip. I proudly stand almost a yard high and weigh almost 14 pounds. And my sight is so sharp that I can spot tiny creatures on earth from high in the sky. It is my distinct pleasure to be honored as American symbol of freedom. I have written a truly unique story about me called The Magnificent King of the Sky. Hello, my dear children. My name is King the Almighty, and I'm here in all my grand glory to tell you a story. If that line makes it sound like I have an inflated ego, then I've made my point. I'm a mighty bald eagle and proud to be what I am. I stand for freedom and courage all over the world, and in America they've made me their national symbol. Now that I've given myself a pat on the back, I'll start my story. I'll take you back 20 years to the time when Big Daddy Cash found me in the wilderness, torn and tattered and almost dead. Thank God for Cash and his son. If, they were not a, if it had not have been for them, I wouldn't be here to write this story. You see, I was young and fearless and threw caution to the wind. All things were new and exciting, and I had to explore everything. Curiosity took me too close to a hungry mountain lion one day, and he was on me so fast that I had no time to defend myself. Well, as luck would have it, Cass and his son were just rounding the bend where all this took place. The lion, who was more afraid of humans than he was hungry for me, took off like a scared cat. I was hurt real bad and just on the edge of consciousness, but I can remember as Cass picked me up, turning my head to look into his eyes. Somehow I knew that I was in good hands. When I regained consciousness, the first thing I heard was, Cass, the humane thing to do is put this poor bird out of its misery. Well, Big Daddy replied, I can't do that. This bird's going to fly again. Mark my words. For the next year, Big Daddy nursed me back, nursed me day and night, giving me all the love and care that he had to give. Finally, after a little over a year, Big Daddy said, Come on, big fella, it's time for you to fly. Just remember you can do it if you have the will and the courage to try. He took me way up in the mountains above a place called Granite Canyon. The first thing he said to me was, I love you and I'll miss you, but it's time for you to go back where you belong. So I'll give you the name King Almighty, Keeper of the Sky. God be with you, my friend. Goodbye. Several years have passed since that fateful day, but I'll remember Big Daddy Cass and the wonderful things that he taught me for as long as I live. Cass once told me that I could be anything that I wanted to be do anything that I wanted to do, and have anything that I wanted to have. All I needed was the courage to try. You know, I apply this thought to all the things that I do, and it's brought me greatness and made me a true keeper of the sky as well as all things below. Remember this as I proudly soar through the sky. I'm keeping my eye on. it for today. Thank you for being here and thank you for understanding. I love you all.
Big Daddy Cass saying goodbye for now.